Peter Munro and I'm nominating Anne Walters for this award. I'm nominating her on behalf of both her home parish and also the Nottingham Deaneries. Anne has done a lot of formal jobs around both the parish and the deanery. She's been parish administrator, church warden, lay chair, but it's not really for those things that we want to nominate Anne. Anne is the sort of person who's seen the range of jobs that have needed doing. She sees that nobody is actually picking them up and running with them, and Anne picks them up and runs with them, and they're not always the most glamorous or exciting or interesting jobs, but they're jobs that somebody needs to take on, and Anne has done them. I've been married to my husband Alan for nearly 50 years and we have two sons and three grandchildren who unfortunately all live in various parts of the world. Uh, I am motivated to do things because I care about people. Because in the past people have cared about me and I'm grateful for it. Uh, I'm grateful because one of the people introduced me to Christianity and that is what has led my life from there on in. I care because I like to take the burden off people if I can, if I see they're worried. That's what really happened over the lead theft when I became involved with the, um, the chief inspector in charge of overseeing the thefts of lead from churches because I saw church wardens who were overburdened and in fact some of them felt guilty when they'd had multiple thefts. So any small thing that I could do on that score I tried to, to do. I've tried on other occasions to help out in the deanery. We're both in Broxtow and in the food banks and particularly in setting up food banks um, which was a deanery objective. We now have them in Bestwood and Bulwell, Broxtow and in Woolerton, where everybody said we didn't need one. But that has proved not to be true. I am also uh, a great believer in lay people taking the responsibility away from the clergy. We are a priesthood of all people. And I would like to see more lay involvement, and that was one of the reasons that I became involved in deanery matters. Uh, anything, we all have gifts, we all have different skills, and we need to release the clergy to do what they do best, what they've been trained for, which is their ministry and mission. And that is still something that I will pursue today through the deanery. I've always felt that God had a hand in my life and ten years ago I became an RLM um, with Jerry Lapine, my rector, who became my mentor. Uh, and I was very fortunate in being able to exercise my ministry in the, the pastoral care uh, with baptisms. And together with curates um, we developed uh, what I call a user-friendly service which has proved to be very successful. We used it um, as a basis, we used children's stories that I was buying for my grandchildren and I found that there was a Christian message in most of them. And so that's how we first uh, went into that sort of thing. But that is the joy of my life presently and I'm looking forward to developing that uh, with, with other people so that we build up a team of visitors to homes, to do the preparation, which I alone do at the moment. But that would be a really good way to spread the good news of Jesus, talk to people about God in their own homes.